Now let's talk about celebrities. I guess that's where you go from the puppies. Yeah. Shaquille O'Neal, <laughs> Nelly, Miley Cyrus, obviously the halftime performer, The Weeknd. They are all in town getting ready for the game. So you could run into them at some point. Yeah, you could. But the man in charge of organizing everything that you see out here, right, to the experience along the Riverwalk, Super Bowl signage, to those wonderful volunteers that we have in town. It's one Rob Higgins, okay. the CEO of the Tampa Bay Super Bowl LV Host Committee. We've actually spent the last year, him and I, planning inside the planning of Super Bowl 55. We've had special guests sprinkled in each week on our Tampa Bay 55 podcast, including 18 current and former Bucks. We've also had a <laughs> heck of a lot of fun along the way, too. Tampa will take over Super Bowl 55. Welcome to the Tampa Bay 55 podcast, the inaugural pod. I am Ryan Bass, so excited to be partnering with the Rob Higgins for this project. It's gonna be a fun run. We got the call. The Los Angeles Stadium was gonna be a year delayed. Mm -hmm. And so could you step in? Only three cities have hosted more. We said you're gonna hear that line a lot on this podcast. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> are you ready to take the pot on the road, man? Let's head to we Miami. Are the, 05, the Magic City. Tampa Bay 55 podcast officially on Radio Row here at the Miami Beach Convention Center. John Lynch. Your old buddy. Mm -hmm. He saved a seat for you in the suite, my man. <laughs> Sunday it's great Florida gets back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Yep. How fantastic is that? How you still had fun. those cargo shorts. I have yeah. no idea. Tampa was a lot of fun, and, you know, they welcomed us, my family, with open arms. Only 50% of this podcast has an agent. So <laughs> who is big time and who is not? You're the one getting the invites to the parties, not me, my man. But the momentum is good heading into the weekend. It's steamrolling ahead to Super Bowl 54 on Sunday, and then officially... We get the big game with the handoff coming up on Monday. Tampa Bay 55 podcast via Zoom. Even though you're in front of that virtual background that features a fictitious national championship, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's bringing a smile to uh, to my face in, in what's been more challenging times. There may be some Doc Talk merch coming out. There's a box over there. I don't know yeah. if you guys can see it. Exclusives. Yep. We got some exclusives coming in. <laughs> Mr. Bennett, why have you not been a guest on Doc Talk yet with Alex Kwan? <laughs> it took a decade, so uh, we'll make an appointment for another 10 years from now. Did you run out of gum in the, uh, in the five yeah. overtime game? <laughs> Something that probably nobody knows. It was the first time in my coaching career I didn't, uh, I didn't chew gum. So I didn't chew for the rest of the class. Wow. wow. I need a Jeter story, man. What's the best one you got for me, Tino? If you wanted to win more than anything else, then and, uh, and perform at the top level, which he did. But uh, yeah, I don't have any dirt on him for you. Maybe another, <laughs> day, maybe another day in person we can talk about it. But <laughs> Well, as the official commissioner of this Tampa Bay LV social quarterback draft, all three of you get an A+. Plus your draft. Uh, Will, get, Will gets extra credit and a uh, an additional first round pick in next year's draft. I mean, who would have thought a year and a half ago that Bruce would be our head coach, Tom Brady would be our quarterback, Gronk would be here, and uh, we'd be doing a draft from my from from home. I think if there's someone that I would have given it, you know, given it to, it's it's Tom Hope. Throw me a couple more touchdown passes, you know. What I, mean? <laughs> I think that's a good trade off, right? Give you my number, throw me a couple more in the red zone. That's it. That's it. You got you got to look my way now. We keep talking about what an important Super Bowl this is, and it, and it being the most important of our lifetimes. This isn't just about a game this year. This is a lot more than about just a football game. This is about us. This is about our country. This is about coming together. I mean, it's a big deal. This is this is a historic Super Bowl. And we just wrapped up a week's worth of episodes from Radio Row here at the Tampa Convention Center. Jeff Binnick, the owner of the Lightning, mm -hmm. our last guest before oh, Super Bowl one. 55. In your pregame listen tomorrow, you can get it wherever you get your podcasts.